I'd like to welcome all the senior leaders from the UDF who are sitting on the stage, the senior leaders who are sitting here in front of us, UDF workers, brothers and sisters, friends from the media. You have walked with us today, supported us, and given all your energy to the Yatra. Ningalila, Yatra Ilude, Yangaroda Pumbravati Kunu, Yangala Pindora Kunu. Walking across Kerala, walking across India is not a small task. Raja Tangoda Mingodam Nadakuda in the Barayanadu, India would even Sanjari Kuga, Kerala Mangoda Mingodam Sanjari Kuga in the Barayanadu, Waikal Vedicharia Ganyamala. It is more than 3,500, 600 kilometers. But it becomes much easier when we have the support of the people. We get up in the morning at 6 o'clock. We walk the whole day, arrive here today now at 7.30 and we are less tired now than when we were in the morning. It is like swimming inside a river where the river is pulling you along. That is how I have been feeling since the beginning of this yatra. There is a river that is flowing and we are flowing inside that river. And I have been noticing the characteristics of this river that we are swimming inside. First thing, there is no hatred, there is no anger, there is no violence in this river. Second thing I have noticed is as we are flowing in this river, there are many currents in the river. Sometimes the water flows slightly strongly in one direction. And maybe some people fall down. Sometimes some people also get hurt. I have seen, for example, one policewoman, she fell inside a, uh, a drain. Because there is tremendous energy in the river, sometimes it hurts somebody. But what I noticed is, the moment someone falls down, moment somebody gets hurt, the entire river picks that person up again. Sometimes it is 
And if the person needs help, the river provides the help. The river does not ask when a person falls, which religion are you from, which community are you from, which language do you speak. Are you a woman or a man? The river does not ask this question. The river helps immediately. So in a sense, this represents, this river represents our country, India. It represents this state, Kerala. It is part of your culture. Your great leaders through the ages, through the ages they have promoted these ideas. Yuga Yuga Andarangalai, ye Pure Yadu Vertikana Ashangale. They did not seek to divide Kerala. They did not seek to divide Kerala. They did not seek to set fire to Kerala. They did not seek to spread hatred in Kerala. They seek to unite Kerala to make Kerala harmonious and to make Kerala as powerful as it possibly can be. Our Kerala to only pick on him, Shakti Purtan, Satyamaya, Trayetta, Maria, Aikata, and Alabuna, where Shakti Utanada came at any way to promote it. And wherever I've gone in this beautiful state, I have seen symbols of this unity, of this harmony. He Aikat in the Chinangan, he is out of the Tindangadayan, Kerala Tilango, and Ningo, and Chenaratala. For example, a symbol of this harmony is the Mamankam trade festival that you have over here, used to have over here. So this is part of your DNA. And wherever you look, wherever you look, this is visible in Kerala. And this is in a sense your strength. This is why Kerala has so much success across the world. The people of Kerala are humble and compassionate. They have the ability to see another person suffering. They have the ability to see another person's pain. Regardless of who he is, where he comes from, whether he is male, female, what language he speaks, you have the ability to see people's pain. Whether he can the Manishan, Madam, Jadi, Lingam, Samoham, Samurayam, Adam Nokade, whether he can the Manishan, Tirichayanam, Sahai Kanula, Vishalam, and this is why, for example, you have one of the best education systems in the country. This is why, this is why you can build cities like Dubai. And this is why your nurses, this is why your nurses go like ambassadors of Kerala across the world. Imagine, imagine the disgrace your nurses will bring to Kerala if they ask their patient, what language do you speak? What religion are you from? 
are you Muslim, are you Hindu, are you Christian? Imagine what would happen. He is a man of the Arabian Soviet Civilian. He is a man of the Arabian Soviet Civilian. The beauty of Kerala's nurses is that they do not ask these questions. They understand the suffering of a human being. And this is the power of Kerala and the power of India. Now, there are some people in this country who are confused. They are under the impression that the answer to India's problems is to spread hatred, violence and anger in this country. They believe in dividing Dividing this country and weakening this country. I want to ask you. Let us look at this crowd over here. Look at all the talent in this crowd. The intelligence in this crowd. The wisdom in this crowd. The wisdom in this crowd. You can make this crowd do anything that it If we unite the energy of this crowd, we can do anything we want. You can build great cities. You can build education system. You can build a healthcare system. You can do anything you want with the talent in this world. Now imagine. If we divided this crowd. Imagine if everybody in this crowd was trying to beat each other and kill each other. Imagine if everybody in this crowd was only interested in insulting each other. Could we ever use the talent of this crowd? Could we ever make this crowd do something successfully? Could we build great cities? Could we build great, great hospitals? Could we build great universities? Impossible. Because the moment you brought two or three people together, they would fight. Because the moment you brought two or three people together, they would fight. Hatred is very easy to spread. It is very easy to insult someone. But hatred and insults will never allow you to build a nation. And that is, and that is what we are seeing. Narendra Modi ji is spreading hatred everywhere. And look at the state of the economy. Highest unemployment India has ever faced. Look at the situation with regards to the prices. 400 rupee cylinder has become 1000 rupee cylinder. And you go and ask any of these businessmen, these small and medium businessmen, they will tell you that demonetization and GST has destroyed their lives. Our Nigel Oberim, not to Nigel Oberim, GST, 
അവരുടെ കച്ചവടവും ജീവിതവും തുലച്ചത് എന്ന സത്യം അവർ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയും സോ യു കാൻ നോട്ട് ഹാവ് ഹേറ്റ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് പ്രോഗ്രസ് നിങ്ങൾ പരിക്കലും വെറുപ്പും പുരോഗതിയും ഒന്നിച്ചു കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ സാധിക്കില്ല യു കാൻ നോട്ട് ഹാവ് വയലൻസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രോഗ്രസ് നിങ്ങൾ പരിക്കലും ഹിംസയും പുരോയാനവും You can make the God's sadhi. You cannot have this harmony and progress. Ningal kori karum sauhurdavum puryogadiyum adhi oda sadhi kuge yungi illa. And that is the message of this yatra. Adhani yatra yada sadhesha. I want to say one more thing. Ya matyari gaya yungu ni paraya nagrahi kuma. And this is to me the single most important thing for this nation and for this state. Yenna samadhi chada thodam. E raja tilum e samsthana tilum ya nagrahi kuma. Yetya um prathana patta gaya yunna parayi nadu. a country that does not know how to respect its women can never ever achieve anything oru rajyam adinde sondam nayi mare adinde sondam sahodariyaya streegale bahumanikkaru kariyunnillengil aa rajyathile orikkalum purogamanathil ettichaaran sadikkilla ennulladana njan adi urachu vishwasikkunna pravaha a country that does not know how to empower its women can never ever achieve anything സ്ത്രീകളെ ശാക്തീകരിക്കാൻ തയ്യാറല്ലാത്ത ഒരു ജനതത്തി ഒരു രാജ്യത്തിന് ഒന്നും നേടിയെടുക്കാൻ സാധ്യമാവുകയില്ല രണ്ടാം തരം പൗരന്മാരായി സ്ത്രീകളെ പരിഗണിക്കുന്ന ഏതൊരു രാജ്യവും തകരുക തന്നെ ചെയ്യും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഏറ്റവും വലിയ സത്യം ഐഡിയോളജി ഓഫ് ദി ബി ജെ പി എന്ത ആർ എസ് എസ് വ്യൂസ് വിമൻ ആസ് ഓബ്ജക്ട് ആൻഡ് എസ് സെക്കൻഡ് ക്ലാസ് സിറ്റിസൺസ് ബി ജെ പിയുടെയും ആർ എസ് എസിന്റെയും തത്വശാസ്ത്രം സ്ത്രീകളെ കേവലം ഉപകരണങ്ങളായും രണ്ടാം തരം പൗരന്മാരായും പൗരകളായും കാണുന്നവെന്നുള്ളതാണ് നിങ്ങൾ പലപ്പോഴും കേട്ട് കാണും ഈ രാജ്യത്ത് എവിടെയെങ്കിലും ഒരു സഹോദരി അപമാനിക്കപ്പെടുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ ചില നേതാക്കന്മാർ വിളിച്ചു പറയുകയാണ് അവൾ അവളുടെ കുറ്റം കൊണ്ടാണ് അവഹേളിക്കപ്പെട്ടത് അപമാനിക്കപ്പെട്ടത് എന്ന് ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് പോസിബിളി ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഹൗ ദ ബി ജെ പി ആർ എസ് എസ് ട്രീറ്റ് വിമൻ ഇൻ ദിസ് കൺട്രി ഈ രാജ്യത്തെ ബി ജെ പിയും ആർ എസ് എസും സ്ത്രീകളെ എങ്ങനെ പരിഗണിക്കുന്നു എന്നതിന്റെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല ഉദാഹരണങ്ങൾ നമ്മുടെ മുമ്പിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് ദി മോസ്റ്റ് ഡിസ്കസ്റ്റിംഗ് ദി മോസ്റ്റ് ഷെയിംഫുൾ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഏറ്റവും ഏറ്റവും ലജ്ജാകരവുമായിട്ടുള്ള ഉദാഹരണമാണ് and i am talking about what has happened in uttarakhand yan uttarakhandil undaya sambhava vikasathine kaana ninga rakshatha chhanikunnu brothers and sisters i don't know if you are aware of this ende sahodaranmare sahodarimare ningal adine kuriche vendu konam bodhavanmarano enu enik arivu kuda but a bjp leader who ran a hotel oru hotel nadathi irunna bjp nedavu who sun ran a hotel adeyathine ഹോട്ടൽ <laughs> his son is forcing a woman to become a prostitute one ayoichu nokku one sangalpichu nokku or hotel nadathuna bjp nedavinte magan sondam hotelile receptionistine veshya padikku nirbandhikkoya there are messages on our whatsapp where she is saying i refuse to become a prostitute yaare vibhijariyagan vibhijariyagan visammadikkunna venu thonannu parayna aa sahodarigale sandeshangal സാമൂഹിക മാധ്യമങ്ങളിൽ അങ്ങനെ സ്വയം അഭിസാരികയാകാൻ തയ്യാറായില്ല എന്ന ഒറ്റ കാരണത്തിന്റെ പേരിൽ അവിസമ്മതിച്ച സഹോദരിയുടെ മൃതദേഹമാണ് pinnida avada kaanuvan when she refused to become a prostitute she was found dead in a lake abisariyagan visammadicha penkuttiyude mrudadeham oru tadagathil kaanapaduvaya that is the way the bjp treats the women of india angareyana bjp rajyathe sahodarimarude perumaarunnu and who took action aaraana vekkidikkanu who took action on the people who did this 
and thanking and, and giving us refuge this afternoon. Where we stay. And we, and we remember the great leader of Tangalji. Who was the leader of Tangalji? Who exemplified the idea of Bharat Jodo? Who exemplified the idea of bringing people together? Who exemplified the idea of bringing people together? Where the Shakti, the man who advocated communal harmony and brotherhood across all religions. And Thank you very much. And now I would like everybody to stand in silence for two minutes for our sister who was brutally murdered in Uttarakhand by the BJP ministers. Uttar Kandil, Pallapatta BJP, Mande Maradim, to Pravartanangalal, Pallapatta Sahodhi Kavetti, Randa Dimisham, Maura Majari Kanananda, Yaa Mewtu Venda Sahodhanangalodu, Avasana Vayutya Abhyarthi Koyaan. Thank you.